we are going to introduce the configuration of base and the rover of Comnef T300 RTK receiver. Install the batteries. T300 combines a lot of advantages proven by the market. It is ultra small and light, including two batteries. It is only 0 0.95 kilogram. It can check GPS L1, L2, L5, GONAS L1, L2, and Beidou B1, B2, and B3 with 256 channels. It can suffer 2 meters drop on the concrete and 1 meter waterproof. It contains both receiving and transmitting internal radio. Connect the UHF antenna. Connect the 30 centimeter receiver connector. Fix the base on the tri back. Power on. Then start to configure base using CG Surveying. Open Wireless Manager. Active the Bluetooth. Then go to Start. Run the CG Survey. To create a local coordinate system, go to Configure, then Data Manager. Tape New. Input the data name. Tick the ellipse option. Choose a proper ellipsoid model. Here we choose WGS84 as example. Go to projection parameter tab. Choose the projection type. Here we use UTM as an example. Key in the corresponding parameters. If transformation use three parameter or seven parameter, Go to the Transform tab and click OK. After creating the new coordinate system, it can be found in the list. Then let's create a new project. Go to Fire, then New Project. Key in the new project name.
choose the data in the list. Choose your time zone. Input the description operator notes if needed. After creating a project, let's move to the receiver configuration. Firstly, start the base. Go to configure, work mode. Build the Bluetooth connection. Refer to the following steps. Here we choose COM8 for base. In PDA port menu, choose COM8 and uh, connect. The receiver states choose in the bottom which means the connection is successful. Choose work mode as base and use internal radio. Go to parameter. Choose the correction format. RTCM3 BDS include GPS, GLONASS, and Beidou. RTCM3 only include GPS and GLONASS. Antenna type, choose T300. Other parameters, use default setting and save the parameter. In RTK tab, Set the protocol. Frequency. And uh, power. We recommend to use 2 watt. Click set. A prompt will appear, which means the radio setting is successful. We would like to emphasize that you should remember the frequency and uh, set the rover as the same. In the position menu, input the base coordinates. If from the unknown points, click get position and key in the point name. And give the antenna height.
if from the known points, key in the known value, or choose from the point list. Finally, click Start. There will be two prompts telling you the device is set it and the correction data is transmitted via internal radio. Meanwhile, the yellow LED is blinkering continuously. Then go to the rover part. Install the UHF antenna. Fix the bracket on the ranging pole. And start to configure rover with CG survey. Secondly, start the rover. Go to configure. Work mode. Build the Bluetooth connection similar to base. Refer to the following steps. Here, we choose COM5 for rover. Choose PDA port as COM5 and connect. Choose work mode as rover and use internal radio. In parameter menu, choose antenna type as T300. Key in the antenna height. Choose measure to bottom of the receiver. Choose five hertz refresh rate if you need, and then save parameter. In RTK menu, set the frequency and the protocol, same as the base, and click set. A prompt appears, which means radio setting is successful then start. You can see the radio icon and uh, solution states in the box. Meanwhile, the yellow LED is flickering continuously. You can check the current coordinates in the view position menu and the satellite sky view in the satellite menu. Go to survey menu, measure, measure points. <coughs> 